The movie starts in a car where a critically ill girl is being taken to the hospital. Once in a hospital, the doctors start treating her, and we are taken back 20 years, where we see a family having dinner. The family includes Don, his wife Irene, and their two daughters, Amy and Sarah. Don is an abusive and aggressive person, as is clear from the very first interaction, when Sarah asks to go to a party. He refuses to let her go and sends her to her room. Nevertheless, Sarah goes out of her window and leaves with her boyfriend, Chris. While Sarah has a good time at the party, at home Don comes to know that Sarah went to the party even after he told her not to. The next morning, Chris drops her home and she tries to come back inside the house by the window, but she is interrupted by her father yelling at her. Sarah is saved by the arrival of her mother, Irene. Later as Sarah, Amy and Irene are conversing, Sarah reveals that she will leave this house as soon as she turns 18 and go far away from her abusive father. But Don hears all this as he is outside the room. After this, Sarah graduates soon, while her 18th birthday is also approaching. One day when Sarah and Don are alone in the house, he asks her to help him move some stuff into the basement. Now, as she does as she's told, she brings the box into the secret room built in the basement. Don tells her that the room was built during the times of war, when people used to take shelter here to be safe from the bombings. Then Don locks Sarah in the room and leaves. Sarah tries to shout for help, but her voice is unable to reach the outside world, as the room is soundproof. Now she checks the box she helped move into the room and finds some essential supplies in the box. She is completely devastated. She also tries to open the door by putting in the security code, but after three failed attempts the light goes out and the ventilation system also stops, which makes it hard for her to breathe. While on the other hand, Amy and Irene are very worried about Sarah, as they call all her friends but with no success. Four days pass, and Don comes down to the basement. Sarah pushes him and tries to make it out, but finds another locked door. After this, Don aggressively drags Sarah back into the secret room and tells her it is all a punishment for her disrespect towards him, and that she will be locked here till she learns to respect him. Now Don not only mistreats Sarah, but also subjects her to severe harm. At the same time, Amy and Irene call the police and tell them about Sarah's disappearance. Don tries to portray that Sarah has left the house on her own accord, but the police filed a report regardless. Chris is also worried about Sarah, as he visits her house where he finds Don and tells him that Sarah has run away from home with her childhood friend, Steve, and is leading a happy life in Florida. Sarah has now been locked in the basement for 21 days, and it's her 18th birthday as Don gets her a cake and presents. He gives her a red revealing dress and forces her to wear it. Sarah follows his orders and he assaults her again. Now satisfied with Sarah's obedience, he fulfills Sarah's wish of a clock in the room. On day 38, Sarah tries to make a weapon out of a can and tries to attack Don when he arrives, but fails again which results in Don beating her brutally yet again. As the time passes, Sarah has been locked in the room for 348 days and is pregnant. She starts experiencing labor pains, and with the help of a book, she delivers a baby girl all by herself, whom she names Marie. Four years pass and Irene is still grieving her daughter's disappearance without any sign of her. Marie has grown up a bit, and Sarah is expecting another baby. Sarah tries to convince Dawn to let her and her child out of the basement, as he recently got promoted. But Don gets angry at her and leaves. Now upstairs he goes to have dinner with Amy and Irene, where Irene requests him to hire a private investigator to find Sarah. He gets angry at her and leaves the dinner table. On Christmas, Don gives Sarah and Marie a television. This makes Sarah very happy, and she enjoys watching television with her daughter. Now seven years have passed and Irene is still waiting for her daughter. While in the basement, Sarah's second child, Michael, has also grown up. Sarah is seen taking care of Marie, as she is very sick. Don brings the medicines for her and Sarah, tells him that they need to see a doctor, but Don does not pay any attention to her pleas. When Marie asks Sarah to tell a story, Sarah narrates her story to her daughter, as she tells the tale of a princess who wanted to run away with a prince, but her father cuts her wings and locks her up in a cave. When Marie asks about the prince, Sarah replies that the prince might still be looking for her princess, and the scene, Shifts to Chris outside Sarah's house, where he meets Amy who clarifies to him that Sarah did not know any Steve, and also that her father might be responsible for Sarah's disappearance. Back in the house, Amy confronts Don, which results in a fuss between the three. 
As Don rushes after Irene, he accidentally leaves the basement keys there. Amy spots them and goes to the basement, searching for something. But just then Don gets there, and he berates Amy and tells her to leave. Now, as Michael and Marie are growing up, they start questioning Sarah while she is pregnant again, but Sarah distracts them and tries to be a good mother. Soon she gives birth to her third baby, whom she names Thomas. When Don visits her, she tells him that she cannot take responsibility for another kid, and also the room cannot accommodate another kid. Don is convinced, and he leaves Thomas in a basket outside the house with a letter. Irene opens the door and finds the letter which said that it is Sarah's baby, and she is unable to take responsibility for him due to her financial crisis, so she is handing over responsibility to his grandmother until she is financially stable again. Irene is very happy to find out that her daughter is alive and happily adopts Thomas. Sarah had left another note for Irene in the basket, but Irene doesn't notice it and it falls in Don's hands. This results in Don harassing Sarah yet again. Just like this, 14 years pass with Sarah still in the basement, where she is giving Michael a haircut and Mary comes out with makeup. Don compliments Marie but Sarah does not like it and tells Don to keep his hands off her daughter. After this, she hands the makeup back to Don and asks him to leave. Don switches off the ventilation system as punishment. Marie is sitting upset in the corner and tells Sarah that she wants to get out of the room. Mary also asks Sarah how she met Don, and Sarah answers that she has known him since childhood. Mary tells him that once they get out of here, she should divorce Don as he is not a good person. Now 17 years have passed, and one day it is raining heavily and the roof of the basement starts dripping. Though Sarah is pregnant, she gets on the cupboard and chips off the cement which opens a hole into the garden, through which Sarah signs through a torch for help with the hope that someone might help her. A man sees the light, but instead of checking the source, he rings the doorbell and notifies Don about it. This enrages Don, and he mistreats Sarah with extreme force, even considering her pregnancy. Sarah is left in a horrible condition and starts bleeding. Amongst her mother's screams, Marie is unable to understand what she should do. Later, Sarah's baby is born dead whom Don buries. This incident disturbs Sarah deeply. When Don visits them, he gets annoyed with Sarah's behavior, and when Michael and Marie ask him when they will be able to leave, Don replies that it depends on their mother, as they will all get free when she starts behaving well. After Don is gone, Marie and Michael treat Sarah very disrespectfully. Sarah is unable to answer any of their questions and thus gets annoyed and starts breaking things. After some time, she lays on the floor and reminisces on her memories with Chris and falls asleep. While she is asleep, Marie and Michael clean the room and put everything back in place, and when she gets up, they apologize to her. Sarah tells them that since they are now grown up enough, she can tell them the truth, and after this, narrates her entire story to them, and also the fact that Don is her father. This shocks the kids very much and they start panicking, but Sarah comforts them and tells them that someday they will be out of this prison. Later when Don comes, he treats Sarah disrespectfully, which causes Michael to attack him but Sarah stops her son and Don leaves. Soon Don loses his job and the conditions of the house start to worsen. Don has difficulty paying the expenses of so many people, so he tries to kill Sarah and her kids by putting polluted air from the car through the ventilation system, but he fails as all of a sudden Thomas shows up there. Now 20 years have passed and one day Marie is having an asthma attack and is in critical condition. When Don arrives, Sarah pleads for him to take Marie to the doctor otherwise she will die. Finally, Don is convinced and he lets Sarah and Marie out but locks Michael inside. Now the starting scene of the movie is shown again where Sarah is taking a critically ill Marie in the car while Don is driving. Marie gets the treatment and the doctor comes to Sarah and Don to get the papers signed. Don does not let Sarah talk to the doctor but she finds an opportunity to pour water on the form. When he goes to get a new form, Sarah asks the doctor for help. The security guard catches Don, and as Marie regains consciousness, Sarah tells her that now they will be free. Don is arrested by the police. While they also rescue Michael from the basement, and the scene shifts to Marie, Michael, and Thomas playing while Sarah is sitting with Amy and Irene. Just then Chris arrives and confesses that he still loves Sarah, and the movie ends on a happy note as Chris and Sarah go on a drive together. The movie teaches us an important lesson to never lose hope even in the most difficult of situations. Even after years of abuse and torture by her father, Sarah never lost hope and was finally able to get a good life for herself and her kids. 
Therefore, no matter how hard the times get, we must always have the courage to keep going. Tell us what you liked most about this film in the comment section. Also, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next video. See you at the next one.